It was Schaefer who recognized that you shouldn't have to take a leap of faith to try to reach the upper story. He had this idea, the lower story, which is all about facts and science, if it was left to its own, if it was left to be dominated by the secularist, uh, by those who uh, were against Christianity, that it would actually eat up the upper story. It was Schaefer who ultimately recognized that you can't escape the faith, that you can't escape uh, ultimate eternal values. He would say things like this, although man may say that he is no more than a machine, his whole life denies it. In other words, we may say that we are random creatures, that we are mere animals, but our entire lives, the very things we care about, the very things we choose to think about, the very things we're talking about right now, prove otherwise. He would say, quote, in passing, we should note this curious mark of our own age, that the only absolute allowed is the absolute insistence that there is no absolute. Truth always carries with it confrontation. Truth demands confrontation, loving confrontation nonetheless. If our reflex action is always accommodation, regardless of the centrality of the truth involved, there is something wrong. It's that whole idea. A truth accompanied by a loving confrontation, but a confrontation all the same that drove him to actually confront the culture. But that was always combined with a concept of what Schaefer called true spirituality. That the real battle always began with us. It always began with our faithfulness in the daily things that matter. The daily task at hand with those that we see every single day. He said, quote, the inward area is the first place of loss of true Christian life, of true spirituality, and the outward sinful act is the result. So the outward act revolution was simply a symptom of the disease of the heart. 